Hi and welcome. My name is Kelly and I am going to do a flip through of a Halloween journal that I just finished. This is going to be kind of a photo journal. I made it for myself. It's not quite finished, but I have a bunch of pictures and I just decided that maybe I would take some of my various Halloween photos from years past and put them in a book and journal a little bit about them and it will give me and my family something fun to flip through at this time of year. So this is a recycled journal. I made this, the body of it, out of a uh, instant rice box. So I took the box and cut it apart. Or I didn't cut it all apart. I just opened up. I took the bottom and the top off it and took off one side. And then I covered it with some brown packing paper and put a little bit of various inks around the edge. And this is actually um, this frame that's here is actually a 5x7 mat that would go inside a photo frame. I inked it with various inks and did a little bit of black over the top just to darken it down again. And I think that really came out pretty. And then I took a piece of acetate and some black foam, just some children's fun foam. And I did some layers and glued it all together and elevated it. The image I got off the internet and just printed it out and sized it so it would fit inside this frame. And then I made a shaker front for my journal, which I love. And then these are just, this is just a sticker. It's a, a pom-pom spider and he has a jeweled head and sparkly paper body. And then I think this is a Jolie's Boutique or something like that sticker. I'm just trying to use up my stash because I've got way too much. So when I finish a couple of other things, I want to do a Christmas journal like this one. Oh, along the same vein anyway. And so this is just uh, orange, yellow, and white tool that I cut up. And I say I don't like to use hot glue, and I really don't like to use hot glue. But I had the journal all together, and I decided I was going to put some tool on the edge. So I did use my hot glue gun for that. See, I do have one. I do own one. Um, but anyway, so that is the front of my journal. There's some other scrapbooking things, and I put a little bit of black pearls and some green um, roll bling. And I did use some stickles in the picture to make it sparkly. But that was fun. And then I took another image and I put it on the spine. It's a skeleton. And then this is a, a cardboard embellishment that has spiders and it just says chilling. And to darken that down a little bit, Oh, and I did put some crystals, some dark blue, really pretty crystals there. And the dark and, and all my, um, and the darkening shadows, I just use a, uh, a pencil. Uh, I don't have it out. But it was a, like a glass pencil. It was a pencil that will write on glass and everything else. And so I did that and then I just took a, a water brush and smeared it out to create the shadow around the image. And I think that came out really well. And I really liked the way this brown paper looks. Uh, so I just left it. I was going to cover it again with a different paper and just decided against it. And some of my pieces fell out, but that's okay. So anyway, let's go inside. 
Now, when I first started this, it was going to be a junk journal, and I was going to put signatures in it and all that stuff. And then I kind of got caught up in a different way. So, and that's just the way it goes. I kind of wing it. Seat of my pants type crafter. That's me. So, my front, inside of my front cover, this is part of a scrapbook page that I just cut out the haunted house. I added a sticker that says trick or treat and I made a pocket out of it. I lined the inside of the book with just another piece of scrapbook paper just to cover up the inside stuff. And then this is a tag that can be journaled on, another more scrapbook paper, but it could be journaled on or it could take a picture and it actually has a tuck spot that it would hold a picture. And you could journal behind it. And the outside, this raw iron fence, is another um, a cardboard embellishment that comes with scrapbook paper lines. And it's just a Halloween pack. And I raised that up on more of that fun foam and made it a tuck spot. So on, front of, on the front of the pocket, you can also add more tuck things. Okay, and the next page, I just have a paper clip that I made out of a couple of cutouts from the scrapbook paper. And then this is a diamond dies die cut. It's a spider web. And I took some very fine black foam and I raised it up just a little tiny bit so it could be a corner tuck. And then there's just some more. I think these are some Project Life cards. And then it's another tags that I made out of other scrapbook paper because like I said I am trying to use up some of my stuff and then this is another um, project life card that I'm using those up to and then this just goes back on here for now And then this next, this is kind of the scent, eh, nope, not yet. This page is, it's just the back of the other page. I just made a decorated paper clip because I was finding that some of my tags weren't staying in the pockets very well because they did make some pretty big pockets. I, I lifted them all. Like this has like an eighth of an inch, um, edge because I want to be able to really put photos in here on mats. So I just took some more cutouts and added them in so that I can put some extra things in with them and some pictures and some journaling. And I'm just using miscellaneous um, Halloween type fibers. And then this is a stamp that I have. I just stamped it in a white ink, raised it up on foam, did some green bling. These are, that's more scrapbooking paper. And some tags, just cutouts from scrapbook paper that I can put pictures on and journal on. And just have lasting memories that my family can look back on and say, oh yeah, I remember that and then read about it. Okay, and the next page, it has a text spot on the top that says October 31st, and it has more scrapbook paper that I just cut the crow with the candelabra, and the spider and web, and another scrapbook cutout that I just put there. Okay, my clock chimed, so I figured I should probably Wait till it finished. Um, but so the center, this is the center section of my book. 
and it opens out like this. And I left this part of the inside with just a piece like this so that I could put a big picture in here if I want to. And here I have a place, I left a little frame area here where I could put a picture inside there. And then these are just more tags <clears throat> that, like that's a Project Life card, so I could journal on that side. And you can journal there and put a picture there. And I put this, the orange paper clip is mostly too, so that if I wanted to put a picture here, but I didn't want to cover this up, I could just slide the mats right into the paper clip, and that would hold it pretty well. Okay, and then over on this side, I used a cardboard frame, added a bat die cut, and I left this in there so that you could see that I left the top open so a small picture could be slid in there. And I just stapled it, and I did the staples in an X shape. So on the back, where the ribbon hangs down, I just wrote with a white gel pen, beware, X marks the, and then it just trails off. And I did some red, like, blood spots, because I'm, can be a little macabre, macabre like that. And then this side opens up, and this page, the outside page, has a little belly band made out of foam, so it has some body, and some uh, stickers on top, and it says Spooky, with another scrapbook sticker, and a couple, that's another Project Life card that can be journaled on and have a picture put on. And another Halloween type tag that could also be journaling or photo. And then the center inside of this one is kind of another big frame that you know, things could be tucked down into. It has a little skeleton cardboard sticker here and a skull and crossbones Halloween sticker there. I'll lift that up. Find my camera lens. But that's kind of fun. And then the center section, excuse my reach, the center section here is actually also an envelope. So I left the half moon cup, and then it has a tag that just slides in there. And that's just bats and bats, fun stuff. More picture possibilities and journaling area. And then that just closes all back together and the page turns. And I left this page blank too for pictures or journaling. And, oh, this is the same envelope, same tag, which I just stamped on and did some inking around, and that's the Dance Macabre, and it's got a skeleton and broken umbrella and a bunch of music notes and things. That's a lot of fun. And over here, there is... Um, I put a die cut chandelier on the top of this page and it's a tuck spot so pictures can go up under there and it is also an envelope or a pocket but it goes off to the side and I did the skeleton tab so it pulls out easy and it has some bones and on the back it's just a another cutout that's a chandelier. And then that just slides back into this pocket. And then also in this pocket I just have a couple of other tags that I made up. 
out of scrapbooking paper that can be journaled on or have pictures added, whichever. Fun stuff. And then you turn the page and it's more scrapbooking paper. And this is uh, an elastic like lace that I'm using as a belly band. And I made a big tag for here. And it's stickers and it says Happy Halloween. And then the back, I just I stamped it with this little girl, little pumpkin head girl, and her cat. And I did some inking kind of to give the um, pumpkin shape. And then the tag, the, um, the ribbon is a dark green. And I did a little ghost button at the top. And that just slides into the belly band like that. I'm going to put these pieces here too. And then inside the back cover, this is the back of the book. It says Boo at the bottom. And this is a scrapbook cutout. And it's a witch on a broom. Get all my tags out of there. So, and that's a pretty good pocket. Uh, it's, it is cut at a slant, so it's... It. And then these are just some pieces more tags that I have to finish, but I'll do that as I add my pictures and my journaling. So I left myself some room to play on here too. And this actually is a tuck spot at the top of this tag. So I could put the, a picture on here and then journal on both sides of this Project Life card. And then that's another scrapbooking paper. And that's like a Wednesday Adams type little girl. And that's her doll. And the head came off the doll and is laying on the ground. <laughs> I don't know. That just struck me as humorous. Um, and then it's just a plain black tag. That's a two-piece tag that I can journal on, put a little picture on, and do whatever I want on. And then that is the end of my book. I've already shown you the back of the book. But this I had a lot of fun doing. Um, I enjoyed making it. I hope you enjoyed seeing it as much as I enjoyed making it. And yeah, so my next one will be a Christmas, I hope. And this is just a way uh, for me to use some of my old stash and put some pictures together. So I hope that inspires you uh, to maybe look through your stash and use up some of your stuff. I hope you have a very colorful day. Thank you for watching. Take care.